Hey Don, it's Ralph with Pondscapes and I'm just letting you know we are loaded up. This is going to make that old water feature go bye-bye. And what I've got loaded up in the back of the truck is all kinds of goodies to make that new feature. And of course I've got the boulders and all that other fun stuff uh, coming in. Uh, but first we've got to get that demoed out. So Anyways, I'm loaded up and we're ready to get started on your project. So we'll be out there tomorrow. Just gonna take a quick tour around. Got golf balls. So one of the nice things about working in areas in, uh, in the valley is you're surrounded by beautiful golf courses, but sometimes that can be a problem. Check this out. Now, these are all here and coming from that direction. And we're working right here. Uh oh. I think I just heard something. So, this is a pretty typical feature that we see in this area. Uh, I've got some big boulders, they're all mortared together. You can see all these mortar joints standing out, and then you've got a big concrete bowl and then of course a pump sitting in the bottom. So what happens when all that debris falls down into your, your pond? Well, you gotta scoop it up somehow uh, with a net or drain it and pressure wash it. Um, and it gets really hot out here and we got tons of algae growth. So one of the big problems that people deal with with features like this out here is that they've got them set up on a timer so they don't run all day all day and night. And it's not necessary for it to, to do that because it's not sustaining life. We don't have any fish in here or aquatic plants. But what happens whenever the water feature turns off at nighttime? Of course, on a golf course situation, there's a lot of grass and a lot of grass means a lot of water and a lot of water means mosquitoes. And this turns into a stagnant pool of water, a big invitation for mosquitoes, especially if you're not around for uh, say part of the year and you've got uh, you know a torrential downpour, we get a little bit of water build up in here and it turns into a perfect environment for mosquitoes. So what we are going to do is bring in the machine and remove all of this. And what we're gonna do is use the same footprint. There's beautiful vegetation all the way around. So we're going to tuck in a waterfall that streams back and forth through here and comes right about out to here and disappears right here. And then it'll be beautiful because they can hit a switch, turn it off and all the water disappears below ground, out of sight, and you won't have a standing pool of water. it for today all the holes are drilled in the concrete shell we got our machine staged everything cleaned up and we got to get out of here I got an appointment to get so we got all those boulders on the trailer this is all the trash from the demo along with those What do you think, Marcy? We'll be finished in 10, 15 minutes? Maybe 20. 20 minutes, okay. Yeah, he wants to take his time today. All right, so this is morning two. We got the entire old feature demoed and uh, hauled away. And uh, now this morning, we uh, first thing we did was uh, dig out the hole for our vault. 
And uh, you can see over here behind me, uh, we're getting this area leveled out. So we can bring our liner up and out this way. How's that go? It's like karate. Wax on. So, um, so then we'll uh, work with this elevation back here and kind of uh, meander our stream a little bit and uh, just you know naturalize this hill. You know what time it is? It's boulder time. Okay, so we've got our boulders staged in the shade area. Anytime we can do this, we take advantage of this opportunity. We got the plywood down to protect the uh, patio. And then uh, what we've got is our easy up that will sh set up a shade structure out there and help us out here in a little bit. But uh, now it's ready, time to get uh, rocking and rolling. Okay, so we're getting started, but I have got to get us some more gravel because we're gonna get up to these upper levels here pretty quickly and we need half this size gravel here. So Marcelino is going to finish framing the lower basin up and we've got an idea for the uh, waterfall and when I get back we'll we'll knock out these upper edges. Let's see what up, what's down Nick up to. Nothing. Cleaning. He's not building anything out here. Oh, it's cleaning. He's just cleaning. That's not how you build a waterfall. Try to make it look professional. There we go. Oh, he's right there. Anaconda, well. Anaconda. Yeah. Okay. Here, here, take my, take my video. There we go. All right, so. Every once in a while, we get surprise visitors on our job sites. This guy was a, an inspector. Inspector. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're not finished. You can't... You... Listen to him. He is not happy with us. We are not finished. Okay? You can come back when we're finished. Marcy, you want to give it a kiss? Mercy. Dame un beso, Mercy. There you go. We think this guy is after our snake. Our inspector. Our inspector. Oh, yeah, there he is. He's coiled up right there. Oh, dude, this is. Yeah, the snake is like right here. Uh -oh. He's about to get him. Like that's my lunch. Okay, so you can see what Marcelino is doing right here. We we laid down, you can see the edge of our aqua blocks right here, and this is all voided. Uh, this is where the water will disappear, but uh, this is our last spill right here, and he's just foaming around this edge. That way we don't lose water off the backside. We get a little bit of a streaming effect, and then all of our water disappears down here. So we're maximizing our space, and you can see we're working our way up. Dominic's doing some edging over there and detail. And uh, then we've got some little details to do up top, but uh, she is just about done. And uh, we've got to put a couple lights in and we're good. 